everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Poetry in Purgatory, episode 3, and I am definitely still pre-recording. I had plans that I thought would make me have to end up pre-recording for the first and second. But, um, let's go push back, and now I've got to pre-record for the third and fourth instead, so I guess I'm doing two again. Uh, it's pretty late though, I might just do one and figure out when I can get another video in before my plans throw me off. But, um, anyways, that, I, I digress. Welcome back to Poetry in Purgatory. Last time we actually made our way here into pur Purgatory where we met the guide and, uh, and the voice. I forgot their new name for us. I, I forgot her new name for a second, but like the voice. But we used to know as Astrid. But, um, yes. And from there, we... Our new character learned about it. We started reading through a lot of the stuff from here in the uh, Dang You're Dead pamphlets. And, uh, yeah, and then we made our way to our room where, once again, exactly how we saw it in Earth. And there's this mysterious letter that, um, we don't know what's in it, but apparently it's a letter that our character never sent. So I'm very curious about what's going on there. But anyways... We're heading back out, so, uh, we can fully explore Purgatory at this point, so, um, let's go see what's up. We already read the line. And Alessio is still standing here, like he said he would. Oh, there's someone else here, too. Hi. Voices for you? I don't know. Hey, man, take me to my room, will ya? Of course, Mr. Always. Alls? Always? Alls? Dang, man, always with the formality. Can it already, huh? After all the time I've spent here, we're like, um, bros, man. I'm fairly certain that we're not related, although the prospect of us being so would, of course, please me greatly. No, like, uh huh. Never mind. Uh. And who might you be? My name is... He seems friendly. Stared at him silently. Just another dead person. My name is, uh... Uh, hold on a second. I'm a gentleman, so I should go first. Oh, alright. I love the hair, by the way. Forgot to say it. I love the hair. I should kind of love your whole look. I'm Bliss. And it's nice to meet you, man. Oh, so you're Bliss. Okay. And I know who you are. Bliss always. Emotional rainbow rocker. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not a man. We'll read the pamphlet in a second. I spent a lot of last time seeing the, uh, reading the pamphlet. Uh, yeah. I can see that. Sorry for the confusion. It's just the way I talk. Like I, um, mannerism. Some would refer to it as a some would refer to it as a verbal tick, I believe. Hey now, my talking is a feature, not a bug. Thank you very much. Of course, Mister Alwes. I didn't mean to offend. No offense taken, bro. Again, I must stress that we're all right. All right, enough already. Um, I'm Isabel, by the way. Ah, uh, that's right. Oh, I almost forgot that I asked for your name. <laughs> that happens to me too sometimes. Glad I'm not alone then. I, for one, do not forget things, ever. Thank you, Indelesio. Mm, thanks for chiming in, man. Hey, earlier, you were about to ask Indelesio to take you to your room, right? What about it? Does that mean that you're a uh, denizen too? Um, I am. Yeah. Wait, don't tell me. How about that, huh? I knew I felt a connection to you, man. Just a pair of cool people thrown out of heaven. I just noticed that. Is that a tattoo? I should write a song about this. You're a musician? That's right. Hey, are you busy right now? Not even a little. 
How about getting out of here, then? It's a lot nicer to talk over at Ouroboros. Yay, what's that? You don't know. Oh. Don't tell me this is your first day here, man. It is. Dang, that's rough. Tell you what, then you really have to come with me. Ouroboros is a bar. Like, the only bar around. It's the best place to hang out. It's the best place to hang out. To hang out, man. Ugh. <laughs> the bartender can be a bit much, though. Hmm. But other than that, it's great, man. And I can tell that you need to get a few drinks in you. I'll come with you, but I'm not sure about drinking. Dang straight, that's exactly what I need. Dang straight, that's exactly what I need. I had a feeling you'd say that. I'll show you the way to... I'll show you the way. It isn't far. Following a man I just met to a bar. My father would kill me if he heard about this. I guess that ship sailed, though. Like, yeah, we're already dead. I don't think we're in trouble of being killed again. Um. Oh, sorry. I was distracted by something. I'm ready to go. All right, then. Ouroboros, man. Here we come. Have a pleasant rest of your day, Mr. and Miss. You know what, man. See you later, Indalesio. Ooh. The Ouroboros were back, yay! It's... Kind of... It looks like the same layout, just like, obviously, a different thing. Was the or was the poster for the Ouroboros always on the right side of the bar? I thought it was on the left side of before. And so was that clock. Have we, like, mirrored this, maybe? I feel like we mirrored this. Like, from the angle we're at, I think the clock would have been, like, right behind us. And that would be on this this side of the bar. I, I just started waving my cursor off the game. That's not going to help much, is it? I could also just be completely misremembering, and it doesn't ma really matter all that much anyways, but, like, I do like the new look for it. This is the place. Pretty sweet, isn't it? It sure is a bar. Right? Huh. Hold tight. I'll go find some awesome seats. Be right back, man. Sounds good. I guess I'll just stand here awkwardly until he's back. <laughs> yeah, just standing around for the person you're with to come back. It's always so much fun. Uh, being alone among strangers. Definitely one of the worst feelings. Exactly. I'd better get used to it, though. Things probably aren't changing anytime soon. Um. Who is saying this? <laughs> oh, we're about to give a voice and then instantly be like, probably not the best voice, aren't we? By the flirt, by the burning flames of Asmodeus, this will not stand. What the? Someone's yelling over there. Is that the guy? Of course it was the guide. By the burning flames of Asmodeus, this will not stand. Is that the guide? Is he having a fight with that woman dressed in black? That was her. Arr. Voices are hard. I must I must ask that you calm yourself right this instance, Miss Inverse. Why are you in black and white? Your childish behavior is bothering the guests of this stellar establishment. To heck with the guests. And to heck with you, false prophets. May the paths you walk always be riddled with poison ivy. If so, I shall make sure to wear shoes with proper soles. Um. Uh, what was that all about? I like their design. I'm very curious why she was in a black and white, though. She sure ran out of here in a hurry. Ah, Miss Salvi. I'm dreadfully sorry you had to see that. 
some of our guests can't handle the drinks, you see. And unfortunately, drawback owing to the luxury of having a tab that never needs to be settled. An unfortunate drawback. I think I misread that. I see. Mm. So, you're a bartender too? Yes. Uh, does that surprise you? Not really. With everything I've heard and seen today, you serving drinks, drinks comes pretty far down the list of surprises. <laughs> what an oddly refreshing attitude. Newcomers usually react to my secondary vocation with utter disbelief. Maybe I'm not like most newcomers. I do believe you're right about that. Oh, uh, well... Hey, Isabel, I, uh... Not this guy. Mr. Always. Alls. I don't know. What a joy to see you here, again, this fine evening. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I see. You're here together, aren't you? Two denizens finding each other instantly here in Purgatory. Now, isn't that just a magical coincidence? <sighs> what are you implying? Implying? Me? I'm merely stating the obvious. Have fun now, kids. Oh, I'm so sick of that guy. You and me both. The worst part is, is that if you want to order something, you have to go talk to him. And despite that, you think the drinking is worth it? <laughs> what can I say? Stuff tastes good. Fair enough. Speaking of, speaking of which, I found a booth. Lead the way. Yay. Oh, I'd like, I love the new design to this place. The whole time, was this place just bigger than, was this place always bigger than it seemed? And like, we were just like standing in the middle of the room staring at the bar? Or was it, has it been actually expanded? In which case there's actually now more room here. Like, I'm curious, was this place always huge and we just never knew it? I mean, it's quite possible that's the case. It's also equally possible that the guy just said, okay, let's make the bar bigger, and it was, because he literally can just do that. <laughs> Anyways, you have to admit, man, these are great seats. You did well to find them, Bliss. So, uh, is the guide always here? Yep. Literally all the time. But how can he be here when he's also, uh, elsewhere? Beats me. Something something omnipresence, I guess. Oh. At this point, I feel like nothing surprises me anymore. This place does have that effect on you. But enough about that boring stuff. I got us some drinks. Irish coffee, one each. Huh? <laughs> Huh, that's one of my father's favorites. A man of great taste, huh? Well... One thing you have to know about me, man. Coffee is life. If you see me drinking something, you can be sure there's some amount of caffeine in it. Sounds like you have an addictive personality. Uh... Oh no, I, uh... I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Don't worry about it, man. I mean, you aren't necessarily wrong. So, uh, bottoms up? I think... I don't know. That reaction, uh, struck a chord of some sort. Like, we might have some idea of, like, some of your backstory just by your reaction to that. <laughs> so, uh, bottoms up? Time to taste? Sure, we'll drink. This can't possibly go wrong. Whipped cream, whipped, whipped, ugh. whipped cream on top and everything. I'm sure it can't be that bad. So how is it? Strong, but not too bad. I feel that. 
the whiskey pack's a special punch, man. Actually, a few sips are enough for me. You can have the rest of it. Don't mind if I do. Hey, um... Huh? Did you know that whiskey with an E refers to Irish and U.S. whiskey? Well, whiskey without an E refers to Scottish, Canadian, and Japanese whiskey? Huh. Interesting. I, I did not know that. I didn't know there was a difference. I've... I've never actually looked at the word whiskey spelled out and realized that it was different before. But, like, maybe I've only ever heard of Irish and U.S. whiskey and never any of these three. I don't know. I don't know a lot about whiskey. Man, that's a lot of whiskey in one sentence. But no, man, I did not know that. I pretty much know nothing about it besides, well, how to drink it. You carry a lot of that alcohol trivia around with you. I guess I'm just knowledgeable in general. Didn't take you for the studying type. It's not by choice. Huh. <laughs> you live and you learn, huh? That's right. You mentioned earlier that you're a musician? Uh, yeah, I am. What kind of music do you play? Mostly accused acoustic singer-songwriter stuff. Used to be in a heavy metal band as a guitarist, then I started doing my own thing. My guitar is like an extension of myself, man. But... But... I accidentally broke it a few days ago, and I'm not sure if I'll ever get it back. Huh? Can't the guy to just create a new one for you? He could, but he doesn't like me. And neither does the petty guy over at the Perga store, who I gave it to for repairs. Perga store. They really did add on to this place, didn't they? This place has a store? I thought nothing surprised you anymore. For some reason, the prospect of a store in Purgatory actually did. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm at. Do you want me to help you? Hmm, how exactly would you do that? Well, I'm, um, I'm pretty good at getting what I want. Um, so maybe I'll just try having a talk with that store owner. What's the worst that could happen? You to do that for me? But we just met. Consider it a thank you for keeping me company today. If I hadn't met you outside my room, I'd be wandering this place all alone by my by now. So, hmm. All right then. Let me point you in the general direction of the place. I'll wait here until you get back. After all, I do have two drinks to keep me busy. True. Hmm. I'll be back soon. Good luck. Here we are. The Perga store. If the guide pops up here, I'm gonna laugh. But anyways, before we get too much into that one, we did get an entry for the uh, for the Ouroboros, so I would like to read that first. And we do need to read about Bliss. The local watering hole and first stop for many of our new guests. Despite lacking the ability to feel thirsty, dwellers still flock here day after day, night after night to inebriate themselves it is a sad sight of it is a sad state of affairs when drugs are needed to dull the pain of one's existential dread but then again who am i to deny supply when there is such overwhelming demand and then bliss how many we only have three open character slots right now. This is definitely going to... Ex this is probably the three characters we haven't met still currently in the game. Like, from the sounds of it, this game is only going to get bigger. So, they will be added in here at some point. Ah, another one of Rem's discarded toys. It's no wonder that you and him found each other, I suppose. Such is the way of trash. If it conjoined until it, burn it is burned to cinders... He's brave yet fearful, relaxed yet antsy, impulsive yet carefree, a walking annoying contradiction. 
If he spent as much time honing his craft as a musician as he did sprucing up that ridiculous hair of his, then perhaps he would have actually made something of himself in life. How oh, rude. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Bliss's hair. Bliss's hair is actually kind of cool. Here we are. The, uh, Perga store. <laughs> Here we go. And I just now got the pun. <laughs> the, the owner apparently doesn't like Bliss, but he does seem to have a sense of humor at least. Hello there. <laughs> I like your design too. <laughs> kind of wish I could like go over your face with that pop without that popping up for. But like, sure, let's read about the Perga store before going too far. Apex needed a place to use his pot. Apex? I'm assuming Apex? Ow. Oh. Needed a place to use his particular talents, and I obliged. Out of character for me, you say? Well, I have ulterior motives. I always do. Besides, I suppose there's no real harm in having a dedicated location to meet one's material needs. If nothing else, it makes the voice happy. Not that I care about her happiness, but because it shuts her up. Oh, come on, guy, do you know you care? <laughs> Definitely sounds like something that the voice would say. Ah, customer. I'll be right with you. That's, um... Shh. Um... No, where did I, uh, actually know? What was it, I, uh... A quantum surge in a subatomic chroniton collector? No, that's not it. It's clearly the auxiliary delta wave flipper. Um. Ah, wonderific. I'm very sorry, valued customer. I was about to close up the shop for the day, and so you've caught me at a bad time. <coughs> sorry. Your voice has changed three times right now, like, ranging in the gruffy, sort of gruff section, but, like, very much veering off rapidly. You see, the grease-resistant microfilament is offline. I should uncrumple the barium cesium shift scoop, but unfortunately... If I could just have a moment of your time... Um... Uh, it seems I got a bit carried away there. Welcome to Purgatory's only shop and repair station. I trade in and I fix, every day and every evening. From now until the end of time. If you've got what I need, then I can do the deed. That's an apex guarantee. Apex Mel Meliota, techno babbling genius proprietor. <laughs> okay, I like that one. So, how can I help you today? Actually, I, uh. Wait. Before you answer that, you have, uh, five minutes. Alright, go. Mmm. A friend of mine recently dropped off his guitar here, and I was wondering if you could give it back to him. Hmm. Uh, that lazy and irresponsible man shouldn't be allowed to own such a beautiful instrument in the first place. He brought it in and, uh, the state of it. Just horrible. I think he really cares about it, though. Hmm. Not enough to come here himself, apparently. Instead, he sends, uh... Come to think of it, I've never seen you before. Are you new? Yeah, that's right. I'm Isabel. Hmm. Isobel. That's a strange name. Look who's talking, Apex. <laughs> and you're his friend. Do you even know anything about him? Hmm. For example, that he was banished from... Yes, I know. He's a denizen. And so am I. Is that going to be a problem? You... Uh, mm. Oh. Uh, mm. Well, I can't understand the desire to surround yourself with those similar to you. If I could, I'd probably do that too. What do you mean? Um... I'm extending your time by an additional five minutes. You want the instrument back, yes? What can you offer me in return? I, um... I don't have any money. Money? <laughs> wow. 
Why would anyone need that in a place like this? This is a barter system, not any sort of money system. In my store, all deals are trading deals. Something for something else. What do you want then? Depends on what you've we've depends on what you've got on you. Every deal is different. Every deal is unique. You'd make someone very so uh the Perga store, huh? That's a clever name. You'd make someone very happy if you just returned the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we going the f full uh, Paragon seg segment, or the full Paragon route, where we just pick the blue one whenever we can? Are we doing that? We might. <laughs> well, I have this thing I picked up in heaven. We might want to hold on to a piece of heaven. For a special occasion, probably. You'd make someone very happy if you just returned the guitar. You seem like a kind person, Isabel. Isabel. But that's not how my shop works. Not for you, not for anyone. I hope you understand. It was worth a try. I guess we're using the piece of heaven anyways, but uh... So, uh, the Purgastor, huh? That's a clever name. Ugh, it wasn't my idea, it was his. Who? Take a guess. The guide. Letting him choose the name was part of the deal. Oh... But I should be glad. If a dumb name is all it takes for me to be allowed to run this place, then it's fine. I guess the one with the sense of humor is actually the guide and not Apex. Figures. Well, I have this thing I picked up in heaven. Huh, what thing? Let me see it. Um, this is... You brought heaven dust with you to purgatory? I did, I think. Is that a good thing? Good? It's wonderific! Heaven dust is native to God's domain. It's impossible to get here normally. It's, uh, beyond rare. Um... Do you really want to trade this invaluable material for that man's guitar repairs? I do. I told you, he's my friend. Huh. Up until a few mo minutes ago, I didn't even know he had friends. And now one of them shows up with heaven dust. The afterlife is truly spectacular sometimes. In fact, it reminds me of the time when I reinverted the rubidium cruncher of, uh... Hmm... Weren't you going to close down for today? Uh, that's right. I'll just take that off your hands then. And in return, you'll get... Nothing in the inventory now. Mmm... Now, where did I put it? Uh... Ah, uh, here! Item game, acoustic guitar. You've already finished repairing it? Of course. It was a simple job. However, you know how things are, right? If you're good at something, never do it for free. I'm familiar with the saying, yes. Well then, thank you for your patronage. Feel free to stop by any time. I may not see eye to eye with Bliss, but if someone like you is friends with him, then maybe he's not all bad. I don't think he is. Mm hmm. Until next time, Isabel. Bye, Apex. Before we leave, we did get a segment for Apex, didn't we? Two more characters to find. Apex Meliodas. Every so often I find myself punished for the overwhelming amount of kindness I show my dear dwellers. This is one case, however, where the investment has been mostly worth it. Like humans so often do, he tends to rattle on about completely asinine, asinine things. But in his case, there are occasional hints of a deeper genius afoot. Making it so maybe, just maybe, he can be worth hearing out. But do I like him? Of course not. However, a master craftsman always recognizes which tools are most effective in carrying out the task at hand. Almost praise. That was very nearly praise there, guide. I don't think we have anything else to look at real quick. Just... We already read about the Perga store, didn't we? 
Yep. And still the one thing left there. Okay, we're good. Oh, hey, Apex. It's too bad I lost that pretty little object, but at least this will make Bliss happy. It's Bliss's guitar. Even if you can tell that the quality of the craftsmanship is immaculate. Even you can tell that the quality is immaculate, rather. Oops, wrong button. Well, at least this will make Bliss very happy. Time to return to Ouroboros. Amazingly, I have found my way back without even without getting even a little lost. Way to go, Isabel. I think Purgatory probably helped you out just a little bit. Like, if you know where you're going, this place tends to just let you do stuff. It took me a while, though. The sun has already set. And Bliss is still sitting over by the booth. You're back. Yep, and my mission successfully completed, too. Really? You're not trying to pull one over on me, are you? Why would I do that? Oh, uh, well... I don't know. So... So where is she? She... Yeah, my guitar. Her name is Juliet. You've named your guitar? Hey, don't look at me like that, man. Naming your instrument is perfectly normal. All the greatest magicians do it. If you say so. Anyway, here you go. All right, baby. Me and my number one gal are finally back together. Man, I have to hand it to Apex. The guy's a tool. But I don't think Juliet has ever looked better. You two really don't like each other, huh? Mmm... I guess some people just don't, uh, mess, you know. That's fine, though. I'm used to people not getting me. Meanwhile, that there... Meaning that there are others out there who dislike you as well? Meaning that if you do your own thing, you're bound to catch a hater or two. People fear what they don't understand and all that, man. I agree. You should always strive to be yourself. That's what I'm saying, man. You're one of the good ones. Hey, let me play you something. It's the least I can do. Are we actually getting a musical piece here? Please don't feel like you have to. But if you really want to, I'd love to listen, of course. So this one is called All the Colors of... Closing time, beloved guests. Everyone must leave. What the? I was just about to... I'm interrupting you, aren't I? Am I? Oh, bother. If only there were a day tomorrow when you could play instead. Oh, wait a moment. There it is. There is. Get out of here with that sarcasm, man. Since when do you even close the bar at all? You... Enough, human. Be gone now. Lest I'll render that infernal toy of yours beyond repair. Uh, fine. Let's get out of here, Isabel. Not her. She stays. I wish to have a, um, word. W with me? Don't worry, it will only be a moment. Leave us, Mr. Always. Alves? I still don't know. I, uh... It's fine, Bliss. I'll talk to you later. Uh... Alright. Later, man. Mind if I take a seat, Miss Salvi? Go ahead, it's your bar. I'm sure you'll do whatever you want anyway. So... How are you finding Purgatory so far? Um, it's great, actually. I don't care what you think, Miss Salvi. Huh, you just asked. The very notion that I'd value your opinion is gravely insulting. But you asked. Silence. You keep making the same mistake. I see it, as, I see it in your furiously vacant expression. 
in the way your body nonchalantly sways when you walk, in the very glow that surrounds you, unseen by all but me. Uh, you are hiding something. And not only that, you feel safe in doing so. Tell me, do you think the voice has any real power here? If I were to remove that pretty head of yours from that rich girl's shoulders, from those rich girl's shoulders right here, right now, do you truly believe she would be able to save you? No. Hmm? Are you afraid of me, Miss Salvi? I... I don't know what, what you want me to answer. Do you want me to be afraid of you? The answer is probably yes. Like, I don't think the guide is trying to be non-scary. I don't think that's part of his goal. Hmm. I'm watching you. Never forget that. If you do, the repercussions could be unspeakable. I won't forget. Hmm. Great. <laughs> Thank you for this little talk, Miss Salvi. I trust I won't have to remind you again any time soon, hmm? Uh now, have a pleasant remainder of your first day in purgatory. Toodles. Bye, guide. Laying, laying on the I know what's going on here vibe. Trying to scare us into telling you what's going on and lots of threats. We, we really should be scared of the guide. The guide can be scary. Um, this is not good. I haven't even done anything yet and he already wants to get rid of me. Unless he's playing some sort of game with me. After all, he can't possibly know why I'm here, right? I mean, he probably has a theory, but... Uh. No, if he did, he'd have killed me already. He must be trying to scare me into revealing things. It's probably driving him crazy that he can't read my mind. Volumnius is right. Me being here is definitely dangerous. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Volumnius... I was supposed to report back to him. I must get to the waiting hall. But I don't know the way. I, uh, I... Dang it. Oh, no. I screamed out loud. That's not that's that's not befitting of a salvi. Why am I thinking about that right now? I'm... Here we are again. The black and white. The black and white lady. Good evening. Uh, what? This woman. She's the one who had that fight with the guide earlier. By the insecurity of Gressel, did I scare you? Um, no. It's just that people keep sneaking up on me today for some reason. I'm not sneaking. I heard a scream and came to investigate. You and far between the dying whales of Banshees. Take us back to shore. A poem? Yes. I refuse to ignore a sister's plea, especially one heard in the dead of night. That's considerate of you, but I'm fine. Then my work here is done. Hold on. What are you even doing here? You did hear the guide ordering everyone to leave, right? I don't care what that lying charlatan says. Oh, you don't like him either. It's... We're, we're getting someone calling the guy to charlatan again. Okay. Like, uh... What was her name? Um... Rahel. Rahel definitely called the guy to charlatan a few times at least. Although she turtle she uh usually defaulted to dirty bow, so looks like we're getting more use of the word Charlotte in this time. 
so you don't like him either. He's, um... I can't say too much. He always listens, you know. He uses our own thoughts against us. Oh, excuse me. And the mind is a terrible thing to taste. How have I seen that line before? I've seen that line somewhere. It's on one of the promotional pieces or something. Or like in the description on the itch page, I think. That might be it. That might be what I'm thinking of. So that's, I think, going to come back up then. <laughs> that seems important. And the mind is a terrible thing to taste. That's right. She's not a denizen. Meaning that the guide knows what she's thinking. Um... You wouldn't happen to know the way to the waiting hall, would you, do you? I do. Then could you, um... Yes. I'll go with you. Together they walk. Together they break and bend. United once more. Um... Thank you. Thank you for taking me here. Um... I didn't catch your name. You didn't catch it, because I didn't throw it. <laughs> um... It's... Sh shol? Shol? Should I be pronouncing the E, or just Shol? I'm gonna go with Shol, I think. I'm going to mostly pronounce it like the E's silent. I'll kind of just pretend like the E's at the end instead, is how I'm gonna pronounce it, and I could be butchering another name. I don't know. Sheol inverse. Bleak pull of the, of the demonic inclination. And you're Isabel. Ah, I heard earlier. Some advice for you. You should stay away from the deities. The guide, but especially the other one. The voice? Yes. But she seems so nice. A serpent in Eden. Do not listen to her. She will take what is yours without hesitation. By the impatience of Varine, I've said too much. Who are these people you keep mentioning? Not people. Demons. I d the only one I've recognized by name has been Asmodeus. I must leave. That was fast. I kind of like Shoal, but what does she mean about the voice? Before we say hi to Vol one more time, where are you in this list? One more character to me, it looks like. Ah, uh, yes, her. The cheeriest dweller ever to enter my glorious domain. I'm being sarcastic, of course. But that's not to discredit her. Quite the contrary. I vastly prefer a silent human to one who won't stop talking. In this regard, she is one of the few select dwellers that I can stand for an extended amount of time. Her poetry leaves a lot to be desired, however. It's almost as if her pieces are being written by someone who's desperately fighting time itself. I might be on to something here. Hold on. The poet. I miss the fact that she's a poet. Oh, I think we found our most important character. <laughs> but how important are they? Or is she going to be? She she sounds important. <laughs> the poet in purgatory, in poetry in purgatory. Hmm. Plus, one of her lines is in the promotional pieces or like the description for the game. I don't remember which one it is. So, two and two makes four. Too so many pieces making this an important character, I think. Anyways, that was fast. She seems a bit... dramatic. But I don't think she's a threat. Still, I should be careful what I tell her about myself. I wonder if Volumnius is still here. Is here any somewhere? Maybe he gave up and left. Volumnius, are you here? Yes. Are you angry? I've been waiting for a long time. But it strikes me now that we never decided on a time for our rendezvous, so my anger towards you is misplaced. I'm sorry about that. No need to apologize for anything. For everything. 
No need to apologize for everything. I don't... So, how was your day? Did you learn any anything? A lot of things, but probably nothing related to the mission. That's to be expected. It was your first day, after all. I can only imagine what, what, what must be going through your mind after all of today's events. I try not to overthink it. The kite may want to kill me, though. If something like that is even possible when you're already dead, I mean. Um, did he say any something to that effect? He outright threatened me, so yes. <laughs> he literally said that the voice was powerless and that if he wanted to, he could blow my head right off whenever he wanted to. If and when he wanted to, he could just blow my head off. That's... Oh, uh, don't worry, he's probably just trying to intimidate you. Being a denizen makes you suspicious by default, regardless of your actions. That's what I figured, too. However, it's good that you brought it up. I wish I could do more to help you. Yeah, well... Uh... Say, you met the guide's companion, right? I did. What was she like? He's asking about the voice? She seemed compassionate. She seemed funny, she seemed headstrong. All of these are right, but I think compassion is the main sticking out one. She seemed compassionate. <sighs> I see. Why do you want to know? Just curious. Isabel, you've done fantastically today. If you need to contact me in the future, you can use this item. Item game. Item gained. Contact stone. If you activate it in this location, I'll be able to teleport here. However, be sure to only do so in the evening when no one else is around. Do you understand? Loud and clear. Is this a rock, by the way? Of sorts. Let me guess. It's magical. Of course. Listen, Isabel. I've got your back, to the best of my ability. Never hesitate to get in touch with me, alright? I'll gladly provide my insight into things if you think it can be of use. Also, I'll be sure to ask Rem for as much aid as possible whenever you may need it. I believe in you. Thank you, Volumnius. Stay in contact. Bye! Um, I should get back to my room. Miss, you're back. I actually want to read this first. A mysterious stone given to you by Volumnius, which allows you to contact him from the waiting hall. Thank you. Miss, you're back. I hope you've had a pleasant evening about town. Um, it's been interesting, to say the least. I'd like to lie down now, though, so would you mind leading the way? Ah, of course. Please follow me. If there's anything else, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. I may not need to sleep, but I'm definitely feeling tired. What was it Indalesio said earlier? Something about resting and reflecting? After everything I've been through, looking back on things doesn't sound half bad. I'll just lay down for a bit. Let's see what happens. You should have set an alarm. Whoa. This has to be the most comfortable bed ever built. Save! Because this is where we'll be ending off for today. I think, looking at the time. A dream reflection for to start tomorrow. And then our second day in purgatory. So, um... Anyways. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have. And I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado... Take care, everybody.